way I like to get some interaction from the crowd. Okay? I don't do really well with just standing still and talking. So um, I'm going to start asking you guys some questions and try and get a little feedback on why you guys think we might need one of these. Anybody got an idea? Why would we need a brain suit? Yes, sir. We don't have to worry about G-forces because we fly so slow. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? Yeah, and, uh, okay. <laughs> Basically what goes on physiologically, yes sir? That's right. We are essentially like a walking, talking wet gas. Okay? Our body, we take in, right now we're breathing 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, and 2% of other gases argon, helium, and noble gases. So we've got all this stuff flipping through our body. So if you think of your body like a can of Coke, a bottle of Coke, okay, as you go up in altitude, Boyle's Law states that gas wants to come out of a solution, okay? So as you go up in altitude, the pressure gets less and less and less. So if you would think of your body like a can of Coke, at a certain point that the Coke in the can, being your body and the pressure, inside the can you have the cola, the cola would be your blood, and inside the cola you have all the bubbles. Okay, that's all that we, those gases that I'm talking about. Okay, so if you think of your body like that, as you go up in altitude, think of the can getting thinner and thinner and thinner and thinner. And that's, at one point, basically, it'd be like you cracking the can open. And what happens when you initially crack a can of Coke? The fizz comes out, okay? That's because the pressure on the outside can't hold the gas inside, so the gas equalizes in pressure and comes out of the solution, okay? And with us being like a can of Coke, Basically what would happen, since he flies at such a high altitude, okay, anytime you go above 50,000 feet, they have to be in one of these. Because what would happen at 63,000 feet, it's called Armstrong's line, basically the boiling point of water is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So what that means, that's our body temperature, okay? If he wasn't in that suit and he lost cabin pressure, his blood would boil inside of him, okay? So what the suit does, okay, we combat several different things, okay? See the nice little yellow can over here? Okay, that's liquid oxygen. Okay, and he has to take and do what, John? Pre-breathe. Why does he have to pre-breathe? You asking me? Yeah. Why does he have to get the nitrogen out of his body? Okay. Why do we need to get the nitrogen out of his body? Anybody? Anybody know anything about scuba diving? Okay. Go ahead. Come on. Speak up. No, I don't know. <laughs> I just know scoop I mean, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. She knows what it is. It's yeah. <laughs> the same principle for divers when they go down, when they have to come back up, they have to stop and do their dive and their stops, their dive, depressurize, okay? And what that does is as we go up in altitude, it's just basically the exact opposite. As you go up, the pressure gets less and less and less, okay? And those bubbles start to expand, okay? At about 16,500 feet, uh, wet gas doubles in volume, and at about 18,000 feet, dry gas doubles. 